forests cover about 30% of the Earth's land mass, but the rate of deforestation is alarming. I am a forester and environmental planner, and it pains me that we have lost many of our plant species. So crafting new greening strategies will showcase an alternative solution to this. One of the Sustainable Development Goals of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development is to promote the implementation of sustainable management of all types of forests and substantially increase afforestation and reforestation globally. Clonal propagation technology of forestry species as introduced by the Ecosystems Research and Development Bureau of DNR is the process of making a genetically identical plant through non-asexual means. As in vegetative propagation, you select a mother tree, establish a garden of stock plants, take stem cuttings from it, apply with rooting hormone, grow them in rooting chambers, and you have new plants or clones. The technology is highly suitable in producing planting stocks that is not dependent on the volume and seasonal availability of the seeds of the target species for tree plantation. Southern Luzon State University has developed a scientific way of producing high-quality planting materials in a short period of time, making it available during planting season. One notable accomplishment in research and development is the seedling production of 50 forestry species indigenous in Mount Banahaw de Lukban. SLSU, in partnership with the DNR, has been an integral part in the National Greening Program Convergence Initiative for the production and delivery of seedlings through its hedge garden of native forestry species and clonal facilities for vegetative propagation. We engaged in several memorandum of agreements with DNR from 2012 to 2017 of more than 10 million worth of quality planting materials or 859,000 seedlings that were delivered to different municipalities of Quezon Province and other NGP sites in Bataan, Nueva Ecija, and Pangasinan. In fact, the propagation of batikuling or litseya latensis by stem cuttings is now being used by stakeholders of Paite Laguna, the carving capital of the Philippines. Wood of batikuling is the raw material for carving statues and architectural embellishments that are known in the country and the world. Unfortunately, batikuling is now a vulnerable Philippine tree species since wood supply is not abundant and overexploitation may have decreased it to a critical level. According to the mayor of Baite, the people must learn how to replace trees cut for wood carving with the hope of preventing the ecological and social tragedy posed by the industry. Together with the LGU, we conducted awareness campaigns to community members of Baite as well as trainings on vegetative propagation with nursery and plantation establishment of batikuling. At present, they have established a demo farm of the species with a clonal nursery in progress. As an income-generating project of the university, we are happy to provide quality planting materials to several recipients and clienteles that enabled and sustained the clonal facility to operate on a regular basis as employment of nursery staff and research assistants. Likewise, the facility caters to faculty and students' researches on clonal forestry, genetic studies, and misting propagation system with funding from the university, the PTFCF, now Forest Foundation of the Philippines, and the Philippine Council for Agriculture, Aquatic, and Natural Resources Research Development of DOST. As an output, we developed and published information materials for extension education. Science and technology interventions could pave the way for the conservation of indigenous forestry species that are threatened. It is a progress towards sustainable forest management. Clonal nurseries and vegetative propagation techniques are essential in the greening initiatives of the Philippine government. SLSU's knowledge generation, protocol development, and extension on the production of quality planting materials promote forestry species conservation in various and ecological and economic advantages. But the success of species conservation does not only rely on quality seedling production. Let us also consider the local communities, including you, as stewards of our vulnerable ecosystems.